Hi, this is Alyssa Gilley from Northern Kentucky University in the Office of Instructional Design under Michael Lively. Today we're going to do a tutorial on how to use our open source video player and I'll show you how to take that off of the Google Code website, manipulate it for your own use, and put it back up on your own server. So there's a couple links and you want to go to the demonstration page to show you how that's going to work. And here we're seeing a video player in your upper right hand corner. Some information that we provided for the user. A search bar. Title, professor, and subject for our purposes. Which will allow our students to see what belongs to them. And then the actual videos listed down here. Note that there's an icon by all of the videos. And we've just snagged that from the actual video and put that in there. This might be a bad example, there's no audio in this video, but just to give you an idea of how you can enlarge the screen into a full screen mode, all of your controls are still there, and then go back. If you want to organize your search into certain subjects or titles, you'll see it works just like that, and you can go back and still view all. So you're going to go ahead and download that zip folder from the Google Code website, which is right here. And I'll open that up for you as soon as you finish. So you're going to open up the zipped folder, and inside Video Project, you'll find all of our Flex documents. You can open this in Flex if you choose to, but if you just want to replace and um, upload to your own server, that's fine too. And that's what I'm going to show you how to do. Um, First of all, we're going to take a look in the videos folder, and you can see the four videos that we're playing. They're in FLV format. They can be either 640 by 480 or 320 by 240, processed at a lower audio setting um, just to provide for an easier and smaller. So these are the images inside, or I'm sorry, beside the title of the video itself. and. Um, for our purposes, we just put them at 61 by 61 pixels. Um, you can do it bigger or smaller, however you choose. And just to give you an idea, we just snagged them from the actual video. So that's pretty small. I can zoom in on that for you. So that's what that looks like. And you also replace those with your own pictures if you want. Just remember all your file names because they're going to be replaced in the XML database. And I'll show you that right now. Go back to the home folder. We're going to go to the data folder, which contains our XML sheet, which, entitled, or which is entitled Movies. So now we're looking at the XML database after opening Dreamweaver. And if you're not familiar with the XML format, go ahead and I would research it a little bit so you have an idea of the basic structure and how that works. Okay, just for one video, you can see we have title, professor, category, icon, and address. Now you can replace these with whatever you want. Um, you can even remove them if you like. But just remember that nothing will appear in the fields unless you delete the fields. So um, yeah, you can replace that. And then the icon is those images that we were looking at earlier. And another note about those images, it might be good to keep them around two kilobytes um, size per image just so doesn't take a lot of loading time. Right here is the address for the actual video and after you upload that zipped folder, um, actually it'll be unzipped once it's on your computer, after you upload that folder to your server this will be the exact address of your FLV videos. So remember to rename the actual video which would just be right here and rename the actual image which would just be right here as long as they're JPEGs and as long as they're FLVs. I just wanted to go ahead and show you how you would replace the logos. Obviously you're not going to be using NKU logos. So um, if you choose to replace this, just remember to keep the file names the same if you're not in Flex or if you're not familiar with that. Just uh, pick whatever image that you want, make it the same size, and rename it with the exact file name tube logo. Um, I don't think anything else 
That's a background, an optional background. The introduction piece you may or may not want to um, remove or add in your own image. It's just an image created in Illustrator. If you want to replace that or remove that, feel free. But um, I think that's about it. I'll go ahead and show you how to upload that to your server and make that work in just a second. One more thing I wanted to mention before we go ahead and upload this to the server is that once you've updated the videos folder, the images folder, and the data folder, um, you're going to go ahead and copy, not remove, but copy and paste and replace those folders in the bin folder. The bin folder is key to uploading to the net. It's going to carry all of the external application interface that we're going to need to carry along with that. So just replace those folders and we'll go ahead and upload that. Um, go ahead and I've opened Dreamweaver. And now I'm going to link up to my bin folder that we just talked about and that's going to carry in our interface. So going ahead and navigating to that. Let me make sure I'm in the right folder. No. There we go. Video project. This should be your extracted folder. And since you've replaced all of the folders in the bin folder, we only need to navigate to the bin. So we're going to go ahead and select the bin. Okay, we'll go ahead and connect to the site. And this part you might be familiar with. If not, I'll just show you what you need to turn into the index file. Find your site. It should be an empty folder on your server. And remember to upload all of the folders and all of the files that you'll need. It's going to copy and paste into my IST site. And I'll pause while that takes time. Okay, as with any HTML um, file, your main HTML file, rename that to index, and then we're going to go ahead and test the site. And we are in business, so you can tell that my site is right up here. I just entered that in. All of my videos are there, and hopefully the ones that you've replaced are there as well. So good luck, and hope this worked out for you.